Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, the STL so nice, I printed it thrice. But before we get started, roll those credits. Okay, so as you can see, we have here some loft balloons. So these are hot air balloons. They are from a Colts 3D page that will pop in the video description. Uh, you can print this two different ways. So you can print it completely solid, which is this one, weighs as much as a small child's head. And these ones, which weigh significantly less. So these are done in vase mode. Uh, both of these have uh, LEDs inside of them. It is designed to be printed in vase mode so that you can use it as a, a lamp. So look at that. So these are really cool little night lights. Um, I will put a link to the LED strip that I used as well. I found mine on Amazon. Um, there are a few different versions. So there is a version that you can print on a Prusa Mini. These were actually done on the FL Sun. Um, in fact, these two were done on the FL Sun and this middle one was actually done on the Bamboo Carbon. I'll say now that, frankly, I don't really think you can see much quality difference between the two. Um, the, the FL Sun did an absolutely astonishing job. These sort of round designs are exactly what a Delta excels at. Um, that being said, I don't think that the uh, Bamboo did a moody job at all. This is all printed at a 0.12 layer height, and frankly, it came out really nicely. So there's a couple of different versions. So there's one that will fit on a Prusa Mini and these sized ones. Um, and there are a couple of different um, sort of joints here. So here is where you would normally put the bulb. Uh, there are a couple of different versions that will accept slightly different bulbs. These are the 30 millimeter ones just to give me loads of space. And all I did to use the LED strip was there's a center column that you print in clear that all of this slots onto like a big jigsaw puzzle. There you go. And then what I did is I shrunk by 20% that center column, wrapped LED strip around it, slid it back up inside, and now you have a really nice even light. So let's take a look around these. We'll do some close-ups. So this is just one of those examples of when a genuinely well thought out design produces really nice results. So um, so obviously there's two or three different colors that you need. So you need a brown for the basket, you need a white, and then you pick the two colors that you want. There's many different ways that you can print this. So the way I did it is there is a center section, which is all one color, and then the extra colors slot in as extra printable pieces. Something to bear in mind is that when you do those in vase mode, you can't print multiples in vase mode all at once um, because obviously a spiralized outer contour is a continuous print all the way up. 
when you are doing vase mode, it means you can't have multiples on the build plate unless you print in sequence and it can be a bit of a difficulty to, to, to figure some of that stuff out. So these LED strips cost about £12, I think. They weren't expensive. Um, obviously, we've got, the, we've got what we've printed here as well not very expensive to make and i think they make really effective little night lights you can pick your own color schemes you could paint them if you'd prefer to do that if you just want to do it all in white but frankly i think they came out really really nicely and uh yeah these are going to go one of these my nephew wants so uh so he's going to get one of those so i may end up printing a couple of others um but these make really nice gifts or they just make really nice things to to put in a kid's room the one thing i will say is the led strip that i bought um the usb cable on them is not long so um although you can look at the uh amazon link that i've put in to see what type of strip i used i would recommend that you got one that had a longer usb cable on the end because frankly trying to put this into um any plug sockets is actually a bit of a trial because it just has to sit really close to it we're actually on a power strip back here but this is pretty much as long as it will go um so uh yeah so there's a little little bit of work to do there the stl files are designed really nicely the guy did a lot of work he's put a lot of effort into these and it'd be great if you guys could go onto his cults 3d and support him don't forget to take pictures show what you've made and enjoy so they're nice little prints. We don't often do things like this. Um, we don't often light our models even. So to be able to do something like this, it's a nice little change. And, and I think they're really effective. So let us know in the comments what you think. Thanks for joining us. We'll catch you on the next video.